So I just found a way to double your drone's battery life. It's super easy and simple, and it only takes about 10 minutes. Now the only thing you need is to make sure that your drone can carry a little bit extra weight. Now other than that, this should work. So what you're going to need is a male and female XT60 connector. You're also going to need soldering iron and some solder, and that's it. So the first thing that you're going to need is to take your two female connectors and your male connector. Now you're going to want to line them up exactly like this, where you have your positives all on one side and your negatives all on the other. So when we're finished with it, it should look just like this. Now the easiest way to make them all connect to each other is to turn these inside pieces inwards and rotate them so that they can all touch. So once you have all these rotated, and if you want to, if yours has a lip like this, you can go through and file it or cut it off. That's what I've done in the past, but just for this example, I'm going to leave it on. Now once you have it set up just like this, then we're going to want to go through and solder them all together. Now for me, it's easier just to solder a few of them at a time. So I'm gonna start off on this one, and I'm just going to add a little bit of solder. Now you have to file off these things because it won't sit correctly and then it's going to be all weirdly shapen. We'll just move past this for now. So what you do after this is if you have heat shrink, then you will add heat shrink onto here. I don't have any heat shrink on me, so I'm going to be using electrical tape. And one major thing is to make sure that your negatives and positives are not touching. On the sides, they should be touching like this. Your positive to positive should, but your positive and negative, so if you look into the center, nothing should be touching. Now, if it's ready, then you're going to want to go through and just take either your heat shrink and you're just going to wrap it up until you think it's secure. Now, it shouldn't look this bad when it's finished because I messed up and didn't file those things off, but if you do it correctly, it should look a lot better than this. Now, if you have a smoke stopper, I'd recommend using one. If you don't, then you can use a multimeter or you can just be careful. Now, once it's finished and ready, you're going to take your first battery, and if no sparks are there, then that's a good sign. Then your second battery. Now you can go ahead and plug both of these into your drone, and it works. You just have to now find a way to mount it to your drone. But for me, I just do a little bit wider strap, and it fits perfectly. Now with that, if there's no sparks and it looks fine, then you should be ready to fly. Now just be careful because remember this is not double the power, this is double the capacity. So it's going to be a little bit more heavy, you don't want to fully throttle it. So just be a little bit more gentle on it. But other than that, you should be ready to take it out and go flying. I hope this helps, and I hope it works for you, and I hope you build it better than me, because as you can tell, I'm not the best at soldering, and I messed up on a few things, even while I was building it. If you can get past those things, then you're going to be ready to fly. Now I'm Zane Shaw, and keep flying.